What's Neil deGrasse Tyson saying about, uh, he's on CNN, what's he saying about UFOs? He's basically mm. saying, oh. look, if there's so many UFOs... Bring them into the town square. Bring one of the bodies into the town square. The town square. Yeah, just bring it into the town square. What, what is, where is he? Which one is that? What number is that? We don't have it because we had to we had to sacrifice it for Denny's uh, Christmas music. <laughs> but if you want to hear some Christmas music, you could turn up Denny. I would like to know what the hell is happening with these UFOs. A lot of people comment saying uh, there's a lot going on. And right, someone saying it was fake, but that looked pretty real. That there. pilot, I guess, was uh, part of a documentary about uh, aircraft carriers, and uh, he's you know he's legit. And then he said. It was, uh, when I saw it, it was otherworldly. It was, other well, how come we can't world. see the color world, the color version? It records, <laughs> we're seeing the infrared version. I think it was pitch black out. It was nighttime. Nighttime in the oh, sky. Oh, it was. They said it was white. Okay. I don't know and they, they were tracking it. Uh, they got it on infrared. They locked it on. You could see that. He should have just, you know what? Fuck it. Launch two. No. Come on. Fox one. <laughs> and just launch that motherfucker. Shoot it down. And then, you know. You are the guy that, that started an yeah. interstellar war. Yeah. How cool. do you know that it doesn't have some kind of fucking, you know... A, a shield or something? Yeah, like, like, if it had a shield... I wanted to see how long it was going to take him to get to Force Field. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not a Star Trek guy, no, so I don't know that stuff. <laughs> I was oh. a Lost in Space guy. <laughs> it's any, oh, I'm sure. That was a good TV <laughs> well, show. So, oh, dear. Yes. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> I love it. I love little Jimmy Robinson. Oh, Bill yeah. Mummy. Will. What's that? Billy Mummy. Billy Mummy and Will and Robinson. Billy Daddy. Angela Cartwright. Oh, no. Dennis Daddy. Falcone. Daddy. Going to be some competition for the young boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> 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 you think he likes young Will? <laughs> Spare me the poisonous barbs and play some ABBA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I... Danny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, we that is great. To impressions. Oh, we should, right? Yeah, that <laughs> wouldn't work. Sure. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> Troy, do you feel vindicated with all this UFO talk, especially since you kind of put, uh, you attempted anyway, to put Neil deGrasse in his place a couple times? Who's Neil deGrasse? And Neil deGrasse. And <laughs> Sometimes, you know, we millennials like to shorten things. That is true. You know what I mean? Just, we like to <laughs> throw on a, a lifespan. <laughs> Maybe when he comes in, you can pay your respect. <laughs> <laughs> you mean your life, not your, your, your lifespan. Life wow. He's making fun of you. Danny. Respects coming in hard. I know. Hey, you respect. With a T at the end. I think you do no, that with an that S way. at the yeah. end. Why would you put a T at the end of respects? You only why are you talking into your respect. cup? I was taking a shift. You're talking into your coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty years of stand up. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd is a big believer in all this. Uh, he did it on That's purpose. cool, because Dan Aykroyd really is the guy I go to. Yeah. He is the go-to UFO yeah. expert. Absolutely. What Just like Chevy a Blink-182 guy. <laughs> yeah, Blink-182, yeah. Ghostbusters. Blink-182 guy. I could see some fucking idiot like that guy from Blink-182 uh, making a lot of money with the band, and then he goes online one night, fucked up, stoned, whatever it is, zooted. and sees some UFO. You zooted, thank you, Chip. Right. And sees something on UFOs, and then it's like, yeah, I'm going to dedicate my life to that. Now and then he leaves Blink. I know. Yeah, he's yeah. not in Blink One Eighty Two anymore. People are hoping that I fucking find something that I become passionate about. Go to oh, yeah, me. Or, or you stop blinking. <laughs> 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 so, uh, uh, Troy, do you feel vindicated? You had Neil deGrasse Tyson in here. Where's you were, Bond? You were trying to explain to him that there's all this evidence. He kept talking about the goddamn town square. Hell yeah! He's still gonna be an asshole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, because you don't like Neil deGrasse. I love him. I, I you know, I really don't. <laughs> I, I, think, I, think he's, I think he's kind of a tool, to be honest with you. Wow, jeez. And he just he just puts up that stupid bullshit about, like, bring the body. Where's the body? Where did you want to bring But Troy, he is a scientist, and those guys have, I, I know, have a but weird he, level of proof. He's playing stupid is what he's doing. <clears throat> Where does he want you to bring the body? He wants to bring it out so everybody sees it. To I mean, where, though, There's so much information, and finally this stuff always comes out. Where does he want the body to be brought? I what part of the town? Town, what, town Square? That's right. The Town Square. <laughs> the town square. I don't think he's in the know, though. No, of course he is. No, I'll tell you why I don't think so. <clears throat> Michio Kaku, he knows. Have you ever seen interviews with him? He knows oh, what's going on. They, they Michio might, Kaku knows about you, folks. Yes. Fucking, uh, uh, I don't, Bin Laden's body? What's that? Uh, Was he yelling, bring out Bin Laden's I, body? I, I, in Town no, Square? He, here's why I don't What's think so. There's it's evidence that Bin Laden existed. Because those guys are... There's no evidence he was really killed. 
Sit. There's no um. Those guys are never. They don't. Scientists can't go out on the limb on that stuff because okay. they don't. They don't even investigate it. Sometimes they'll be laughed out of the bit. They'll be like the laughing stock. So a lot of times those guys don't even pursue it in their business because they'll be mocked. Is I'm that sure. true or is that the story that that's we're the told. story they want you to hear? Right. No, I believe I, it. I'm sure. I'm sure there's scientists who be like, hey, listen, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. This is what's really going on. Because mm. <laughs> Neil Tyson would be a, a, a what a hero he'd be if he talked about. It. Yeah, but he'd also those people that come out and say stuff like that are threatening their lives. But Tom before. DeLonge is not being threatened. Mm. Well, well, like how is he doing it? It's not like you're trying to fuck the alien. He's, your career is fine. He's, he's working <laughs> as long as you don't harass it. Look at you. Let me see your gray pussy. <laughs> Let me see. Tom DeLonge can do what he wants though because he's Blink One Eighty Two. So at the end of the day. People are kind of kind of feel what Anthony feels about him, which is like, isn't this fucking idiot from Blink-182? Yeah, why should I put any credence in what he says? Whereas That's a hard Neil, one to discount, though. That video is pretty... Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson gets good. on TV, and he goes, hey, there's aliens. Everybody goes, yep, he's the physicist. You must, Tom, there must right, be sorry? aliens. Tom DeLodge is it's, he's doing a cool thing. He's working with the <laughs> Pentagon. If you, if you guys get a second, check out him on Joe what Rogan. What song do they do? <laughs> the Pentagon. We're only five sighted. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> uh, geometry. Yeah, you fuck you. <laughs> We're not a hexagon. Rich, you don't like that shit, right? I love it. You do. <laughs> yeah, Big fan. <laughs> kiss, kiss. It's fun, right? <laughs> the Christmas episode is coming up. <clears throat> oh, Next yes. Week. Yes. It's a barn burner. Don't want to uh, give away any of the twists and turns in that episode. Yeah. It was fun. A lot of singing. There a lot yeah. of stuff. That's so... <laughs> Dude, I can't even. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Chip's a maniac. <laughs> Did All have right. a lot of fun. Lenny Marcus, too. Oh, yeah. A Jew there on Christmas. Yes. Oh. A lonely Jew. And that like, much of... Uh, yeah. Like Stan. Like Didn't, Rich. Rich isn't a really practicing Jew. No. You have a tree in the house. Well, it's not for me. It's for a kid and my, you know, yeah. not even my wife is an atheist. So. It's in your house, though. What are you going to do? The Did she become an do? atheist oh. after the wedding? Yeah, sure. <laughs> he couldn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> there's, atheist, atheist. there's no God. <laughs> Atheists can have Christmas trees. It's sure. not a, the it's a tree is not a religious symbol. Yeah, it's a holiday tree. Please. It, it, it is a religious symbol. The name Christ is right in the goddamn yeah. word. We're oh, trying sorry. to put the, we're trying it's to put the Christ It's a holiday back in tree. Christmas. Holiday tree. It's a yeah. Christmas tree. Trump bringing back Christmas with a vengeance. Europe. Yeah. Nobody's taking Had a it lot away. Of Christmas. No, I'm not. I'm sitting. Fuck yeah. You're what up. else? You see Bill O'Reilly tweeting about his uh, shirt sizes last night? Oh. The, well, shirt in quotes. I'm, I'm an extra large. Where was he doing it? From a restaurant in New York on Facebook? <laughs> I get it. Well, Another man you won't see. <laughs> Another person you won't see anymore. <laughs> Poor Bill. <laughs> Online. I was selling his books going. Oh, kill, it, killing my career. <laughs> you should put out that book now. Is he doing as well as he was now with his own site? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Bill O'Reilly. Okay, he He's, tweeted uh, out. Uh, he just he just said like uh, it said something to the effect of, "Oh, here's the tip of the day: many clothing companies have stealthily cut back on material, so order your stuff one size larger than you are." I'm six four two ten, and an XL used to do it. Not anymore. Now double XL. A lot of people took that to uh, mean that Bill O'Reilly doesn't realize he's just gotten fatter. He's gotten right? fatter <laughs> that he's been sitting at home not working. Right, right. Or is he just happen. fishing for people to send him free suits? Oh, I'm a double X. Oh, by the way. That's pretty good. Do you think... But hold on. How many of you... Uh, you know what? That fucking last video, maybe it's not what he used to do. Almost 630,000 views on a video that he put up... Uh, oh, it's October 30th. Okay. I'm not saying the guy doesn't have a following. That's yeah. for sure. That's maybe he'll play. get a cable show. <laughs> Aren't they doing a new network with him and fucking uh, Steven Crowder? Isn't it some new thing they were talking about or no? No, CRT. What is it? CRT. Is it conservative something? something I, like heard, I heard Gavin and... and uh, <laughs> yeah, Gavin's on there. Crowder's Crowder. on there. Yeah, yeah. They got a... Uh, network? They got a network going. Mm. Yeah. Have they started yet? Are they still Oh, yeah, on? yeah. Okay, I didn't even yeah, know. That's going. I just did an interview with a Gavin yesterday. Where's uh, he based out of? New York? Uh, Yeah. I did an interview with him about the Saturday Night Fever, as a matter of fact. You brought that up earlier. The fact that uh, it's so racist against Italians. And some guy wrote an article about how terrible it is. And I, uh, he asked me, you know, what do you think of this at being, you know, a WAP? Yeah, uh, I as you are. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, most people, if they see something like that, they don't give a shit. Like, I found it funny that they're sitting around, you know, he touches my hair. 
Uh, don't don't touch my head. Like, I find that shit funny. And yeah. It's like, well, it's stereotypical. No one talks like that. Now you're a cunt. Yeah. You know, all that shit. Like, no one would talk like that. Right. But I've known some real fucking um, guineas that, that talk like that. Yeah. Tip of the day. I like a good tip of the day. Oh. Yeah, in yeah. your mouth. <laughs> he does That's tips true. of the day. <laughs> but again, he still he does have a following. Yeah. He does have a following. He's yeah. also a little bigger than he used to be. <clears throat> I don't he's think fatter. he's a but he's getting XL like guy. nine thousand likes. Not that that's everything. Twenty six hundred retweets. That's some. That's, that's at least everybody's he, making fun of him. Okay, are, are they? This tweet went. Yeah, that's oh, why I brought the tweet I, up. Oh, oh okay. Okay. everybody was mocking. Him. It went viral. Funny. It did go viral. I mean, how would yeah. be awful? If they didn't get any likes or retweets. That'd be fucking embarrassing. At least some people are paying attention. Hmm. Be well, awful. Why would you continue <clears> to tweet if you weren't getting likes and retweets? I wouldn't. Melon. You wouldn't. No. Mm. Me neither. <laughs> Chip gets likes and retweets. He does? <laughs> yes, he does. Based on what? Just people's humor. Oh, humor? Yo, humor. Oh. I hate unpacking um, dress shirts uh, out of the package because it's pins. just like, I don't understand Do they, why they're right packaged on? like that. With the pins? Is it always yeah. pins? Do you and put them on there's right like after? brackets in there and clips now oh. and plastic under the collars, the, the cardboard thing and then the plastic thing in the front. Oh, let me tell you the fuck? Case, I thought, you ever noticed? Did you ever notice? <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> no, I'd rather do Kramer's act. <laughs> as far as shirts go, I've dedicated my life to figuring out how I can find a dress shirt that I can wear without tucking it in. They're oh, either too like long that. or they're yes, too... You know something? Easier oh. said than done. He just runs to the... There's a company called Untuck It. Thanks. <laughs> I was, Thanks, Dan. I was, was going to play with this, Sam. I know. I was going I was for gonna a... mix it up a little. Pitch the commercials on Fox News all the time. I'm like, you I know... Can't, I can't hear my soundboard. Do the oh, Untuck no. It thing. Oh, no. You can't. You I'm not sure play, why. You were going to play some sounds? I played one for his comment. Thank oh, you, Oh, I didn't hear it either. <clears throat> no, it's not. Playing. Is it on? Oh, breakfast. Pot it up. Sam, is that what? Oh, no toast again. Oh, no, I'm <laughs> kidding. Of course. Right? Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. All right, it's for, you, for me. You stupid fucking cunt. <laughs> okay, I am. <laughs> that is a good one. Ha, <laughs> ha! Oh, just, just play any clip. Yeah, yeah we just play it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fine, I, I right? I love when you on the soundboard. You were so good. Oh, it's just terrible when... What? Oh, I'd be... I'd be crap. <laughs> yeah, that would happen. This your house, boy. Oh, this my. the man's your house. You be playing right hard. Well, you, Keep you're going. Just, you're just pressing buttons. How long will it last? So you'd be playing There's sounds? no sense to it. Like, I would like to play the so sounds. sorry to interrupt. That's how you see that shit. work. Yeah. 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 And you try to play And then, you know, maybe other people with soundboards would st that needed to have a soundboard <laughs> were just stomping on the, you know, like a child. Right. <laughs> <with> a xylophone. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those like fake drum sets when you realize the cymbal makes a sound when you smack it. Right. And like my ten month old would just go fucking crazy. Oh just my hitting the god. Thing. Ten months. That's He's a... ten months. Wow. Yeah. What are you gonna yeah. do for the big one year? Big party. A big boy Pass. too. Big kid. He is, is a big, kid. big kid. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. A big kid. Wow. Yeah. How's grandma? Is she just like beside herself? She's a in fan. Love. Yeah. The whole she's... thing. Is she hugging him a lot and spoiling him? She does like to hug him, yeah. First haircut, keep the hair? I don't yeah. know. First shit they have yeah. frozen. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a diaper. She asked us to send her the first uh, box of the first year of diapers. So we've been oh, collecting good, them. Good. That's nice, yeah. We've been collecting them for her, yeah, for she's gonna, And she's going to crush them the way you do a fucking uh, car right. in a junkyard, and then she's going to make herself a fucking hell bonnet. <laughs> she actually wear a one-year shit duty bonnet. <laughs> She wants to make it like you know, uh, popcorn chains around the Christmas tree. Oh, she wants to make it with this. all the with all the diapers. Yes, and, and, oh, and yeah. put them all over the house. Yeah, that's it's right. little heavy gifts. I can't stand the popcorn fucking what? garland. Let me tell you what? something. People make on the tree. It's it. 2017. For you could get fucking lights uh, for the tree that uh, that are like lasers shooting out your ass, and and they fucking still threading a needle and oh thread God. through popcorn for, for ten last, years for the to last get three feet of fucking popcorn. For the last nitpicking, there are things that you got to invent just to tell the story. I give it to you. All right, but if you invent something to tell the story, and you could have gotten real science to tell a better story, I'm gonna be all up in your case. <laughs> you tell should. And I also think that people like, because we don't know science, right? We don't know the science behind it, so people tend to just trust whatever's in the movie they trust, and, as and, and legit I, science. What yeah. I want to do is hold the directors and producers accountable to getting the science right if they can, 
before they take their leap of storytelling. Right. They, and, and I don't think I'm asking very much. If you, if you watched a period film from the 50s and someone's, there was a car parked on the street from 1962 and you were a car expert, you'd have right to you'd cry You'd say foul. something. You'd say <clears throat> something and people would be proud of you for noticing it. Now with the aliens, we have a guy, on our, he's a big conspiracy guy. He thinks there's been like thousands of alien abductions. And what is he based it on? That's I would love to ask him. If we get Troy well, in here, I would like him to ask you because we are genuinely curious. Do you think that there's been alien abductions? Uh, the, I have not seen convincing evidence. He said based on, on the reports that people have given mm -hmm. that they've been based abducted. Based on eyewitness testimony. Oh, yes. Troy, do you yes. want to ask uh, Mr. Which, of Tyson? course, though eyewitness testimony be high in the court of law, it is the lowest form of evidence in the oh. court of science. Oh. If, you, if, you go to a, if you go to a scientific conference and say, this is true because I saw it, uh -huh. it's like they'll just laugh you out of the room. <laughs> right. It's like, come back when you have a reliable and verifiable means of recording that information. What, what, so, so, for, so, 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 oh, so, hey. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 Troy, all right. Yeah. But at this moment, if you were to be asked, you would say, you're not saying that alien abductions couldn't happen no, or have will, happened, uh, but no, you I'll have no evidence. That. I'll just yeah. say the evidence that has been put forth as evidence is not convincing to a skeptic. Right. And most of that evidence is either, and we'll find out in a minute, um, either someone with eyewitness testimony coming forth giving first-hand account of what they experienced, or it is something in the sky that they didn't understand and presumed it to be something in the absence of actual evidence to support it. Could have been Aurora Borealis. It could have been something. It could have been actually aliens. But could have been. But I just, I, I just bring me an alien. Then, I, then we're good. There's been a few that, I, that are questionable. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're <laughs> you're quite convinced. Troy, how you doing? Good man. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah. You're uh, quite convinced of the alien abductions. Yeah, I mean, there's just a, there's wait, a, wait, wait. Have you been abducted? I have not. No. Okay. So you're trusting the words of other people. I'm just going by what I've seen before, as far as uh, words from other people, testimonies, as far as testimonies. like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like uh, three girls in Zimbabwe who are five years old. Um, and they came running up. They're out playing in a in a field. They came running up to the house. Mm -hmm. Three little. I mean, they're little girls, five years old. So they don't have point of reference to a lot right. of things. They've taken these girls apart, separated them, said, "What did you see?" They mm -hmm. all said the same thing, and they all drew the same thing. So when you see something like that, it's kind of hard to be like, "Ah, you know what? Those girls just made that up. That's not real." Okay, so now uh, we might have a billion people in the world today who carry with them a camera and a video. Uh, and a, you know, a video camera, and uh, it's called the smartphone. So in the era of the smartphone, where everyone can record unambiguously what is in front of them, we don't have some increase in the number of reports of abductions or anything else. That, that number, we have pictures of extremely rare things now, like like buses getting flipped into the air from tornadoes. There was a day when you would say, hey, that's interesting. Let me go home and get my box camera to, to, to photograph that. that so, so we knew things happened, but we never photographed them. We have such capacity to record today, and I, I don't see any better evidence than ever has been put forth. So, so all you, we can say the girls saw something. We don't know what it is. That's not enough evidence to convince a skeptic that they were actually visited by aliens. Well, th th and that's what you're saying is not necessarily true because there is a lot of evidence of um, recorded, documented, uh, unexplainable things in the sky. I, wait a minute. Just because you can't explain it doesn't mean it's a visiting alien from outer space. I'm not saying there isn't unexplained things in the sky. That happens all the time, especially to people who don't really know and understand sky phenomenon, especially to them. But by and large, you can encounter something in the sky that you can't explain. Happens all the time. How do you buy well, airline? By admitting you can't explain it, you have removed yourself from further conversation about it. You cannot say, I don't know what that is, therefore it must be a visiting alien from outer space. There's a period goes at the end of the sentence of, there's something I can't explain floating in the sky in front of me. What about, Boom, you're done. What about airline pilots? So those guys are the only ones I give a lot. Could they understand how things move when they fly and propulsion? Much better than most of the average person does. What I'm saying is, I'm talking about human beings here. I don't care what your profession is. I don't care how many chevrons are on your side. I don't even care if you're a scientist. The point is, what we have learned, and psychologists back this up. Scientists found it first, then psychology got invented, and they study this to no end. That the human sensory system is one of the most susceptible 
of any data taking uh, uh, configurations to bias, to mood, to misinterpretation, to all of these. And we say, damn, how are we going to do science when the human sensory system is so susceptible? We, let's build machines that can make the measurements that remove your eyes, that don't use your hearing, that don't require you to taste it, that don't require you to even have to think about it. We measure it. Now I can show you this measurement. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and by the way, it got e extra complicated in the era of Photoshop because now the Photoshop practically had an alien button. You press it, it thro I mean, throws in a UFO. All right. So, so even if you produce photographic evidence in this day of doctored photos, you it, it's a start. It's better still not than your enough. eyewitness, but it's a, it's a start. I'm saying, grab me an alien. And we're good. We're good to go. All these people who are sure they're aliens, get one. It's fine. And I, I don't, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not even going to say, I'm not going to say you shouldn't do it. I'm not saying there aren't aliens out there. I'm not even saying they haven't visited. Produce one and you will convince every single skeptic there ever was. That's all. What about the yeah, green? Okay, there was a movie, I, one of the dog movies, either dogs or... Uh, one of the dog movies, right? Where the whole movie is in the perspective of dogs, right? Okay, there's a kid who finds a crashed flying saucer that the Great Dane had flown to Earth in. Marley mm -hmm. and me. That's not the dog movie. Okay, so now watch. <laughs> okay, another kid says, "Yes." No, I don't believe you. Because here's oh, eyewitness. So the kid brings him to the crashed flying saucer. It says. Okay, okay, so now let's continue. It was great. It right. was very simple. That's science. It was, yes. Yes. That is science. I mean, you know, and, and, and over, I, over Christmas, if anybody was online, half the internet was convinced that Sinbad starred in a genie movie called Shazam. And everybody had this same, it was a collective memory. Everybody had a memory of this delusion. movie. Collective delusion. Right, yes. right. And they were all in agreement that this movie had happened, and, and it was a thing. Until Sinbad came out and said, the reason there is no record of this movie is because I was never in a movie called Shazam. I was not in a genie movie. I've never played a genie in a movie. But because people remember it and because their friend remembers it and because the other people on the Internet remember it. These are cognitive failures of the human memory. And, 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 and the sensory system is in there as well. We, we've known this. Uh, you, if you count how many people said they witnessed Bobby Thompson's home run. Uh, or or you name some other Babe Ruth pointing uh, pointing. You, if you log how many people were say they were at the game, it far exceeds the number of seats in Yankee Stadium. And some of those people actually believe they were at the game. Yes, they most, just, of, uh, most of them are liars, though. Some are liars. Yeah, no, no, some are lie on purpose. Others believe they were actually there. I mean, there's a whole and, and they can and if you believe something that is not true, but you're compelled that it is true, you'll pass every lie detector test. Right? I mean, you're, it's whatever. Because you believe it. Because you believe it. That's right. right. That's so all you think it's being covered up, Troy? Yeah. Well, right. So now, so we haven't gotten the conspiracy part yet. So um, what all conspiracy theorists have in common, everyone I've met and spoken with, is uh, there's a point where the data either don't agree with what they already want to be true, or there's just an absence of data. And so when they get to that point, they invoke the conspiracy. And it's more often where the data don't agree with what they want to be true, that they'll say, oh, it's being uh, covered up or withheld or purposefully masked so that they make you think something else instead of the actual truth. So there's always some gapping going on in the data. Mm -hmm. And the gapping in every case is the assertion that there's some powerful secret agency that is covering it up. And I'm, I'm charmed that many people think it's the U.S. government. That, that is assigning a level of competence to the U.S. government far beyond anyone who's actually worked for the government will report to you about. Do you think that's true, or you think the government's up to some shit? Yeah, I think they're up to some shit. Yeah. yeah so well, what, how did oh, how... Wait, wait, wait. Don't get me wrong. The government's always up to something. The, just... the government's always trying to keep a secret. That, that, the question is whether they will succeed right. in keeping the secret of stockpiling it. Look how much we knew about President Clinton's genitalia. A if lot. there was ever a state secret, it would have been what, what he does with his, you know, where he puts it, all right? But there it was, on but TV. How do you respond to that, the competency angle? Well, first of all, I think that, you know, you said with conspiracy theorists, they, they believe one thing. I think non-conspiracy theorists do the exact same thing in the other direction, where they're so far convinced that they won't ever go, oh, you know what, that's, that's, actually, uh, that's actually interesting. As far as, like, 
Roswell goes, the crash in Roswell. Mm -hmm. the, the day after it happened, the Army issued a press release saying that there has been a UFO that crashed in Roswell. We have recovered bodies. Then all of a sudden, the next day, it's, it's a weather balloon. And it's like, how, do you, how would you mix those two up? So, right. so it's, it's, it's multiple things like that. And you're right. There, there are no alien bodies. We don't see them. But there are things like somebody in the Russian... Do you think they have alien bodies probably in Roswell? I, I, I mean, I would. Did you see so. alien autopsy? The oh, that was terrific. No, that was fake. No, right? it no, wasn't. Was the... <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about the the documentary where they went yeah. through and they yeah. supposedly had a, a fake alien yeah, body? Yeah, the they, they debunked that. Yeah. Do you think that it's possible that some of the oh, signs? What? By the way, the phone on the wall uh, had a coiled handset, mm -hmm. which came out ten years later than what they said. <laughs> Isn't it yeah. amazing how they blew it's, it? It's hard that to fake. one little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that, that there is a possibility that some of the scientists and their data actually have incorrect data because of what the government does? Yeah, but there, there's just so many things, though, that point to the direction that there would be aliens. That It's so hard to discredit everything. And be Carl, like, Sagan, God, no, Carl Sagan didn't oh, believe it's easy to discredit everything. I mean, all these people are crazy. The thousands I'm, and I, thousands no, of people. I didn't say people. anybody's crazy. They we're are. all humans. So they, and we're so, all susceptible. A lot are, though. And so I never used the word crazy. Hmm. I, I, I never said that. All I'm saying is. What you're presenting and what you think is legitimate evidence simply isn't scientifically. Okay, what about, and I'm not using different rules to apply to you than I would to any of my colleagues saying anything else about much less interesting things in the universe. So what about these people that claim to be abducted that have had certain things implanted in their body that are not found on Earth? Crazy that, liars? That's that. I. That's not cases. No, no. no. There's nothing in their body that no one is able to be, be uh, identify. Yeah, that's that's not true. They found stuff. They found implants that uh, were from should, meteors, meteorites. What we should do they is they found a meteorite implant. What I'm saying is, tiny, me, tiny all, all I'm saying is, give me the aliens. Until you can do that, we have nothing to talk well, about. Where they get the meteorite? That's all I'm saying. Meteorites are all over the earth. Oh, well, okay? what evidence that is found, they found in a body of meteorite evidence? You're saying they found they, What I'm saying is, I have set the bar for you. Until that bar is crossed. We actually don't have much to talk about. And I'm not going to stop you from capturing the aliens. Go right ahead. Do it. You don't have those kind of My sense of now. it is if an alien has the power to cross the galaxy and show up at Earth, it's not going to show up to a farmer in the backyard that has to then tell us what the farmer saw or to, to five-year-old children. That will be a major thing that will go unmistakably down in history as an alien visitation. That is my sense of it. But mm. I... Bring produce the alien and we're good. Then all of you will be vindicated. Don't you want that to happen? All of you, the crazies. Yeah, yeah. all of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't you want to be vindicated? The I mean, locos. They just, Until they're... that happens, don't expect scientific skeptics to jump on your bandwagon. Just don't expect that. And I've, I've told you why. Tell me about the thing with the similarities. Oh, they say that. Uh, Who's they? Uh, people that have been doing people. the research. Okay. <laughs> the phone. Well, well, scientists are people, too. So. That's right. And we're all people, people too. Today. If you remember Bob McAllister, all kidding aside. Good point, Tim. I'm glad Sam. you brought that up. <laughs> yeah. So the good addition. <laughs> people, doctors, scientists, whatever you want to call them, that have documented the alien abductions. People, scientists, whatever, <laughs> whatever, you, want want, whatever you want to call yeah, them. Whatever title yeah. you want to throw on there. Well, I'm with you. Regardless, regardless. The regardless. alien abductions, as reported, Dorks. are personal eyewitness testimonies of events that happen to themselves. Sure. Okay. Just let's be clear. Okay. But just talk say, about just, the... wait, just, oh, I, okay. I'm distinguishing the quality of your data. All right. To say oh. these alien abductions that happened. No, these are alien abductions that people say happened. Okay. Just That's be fair. clear. That's fair. We, as a scientist, we distinguish the sources of information. Otherwise, it's this. It's this. It's a. It's a jumble of he said, she says, and so. So you mean the alien abductions that people say they have experienced? Continue. Yes. Then the people that have the doctors that have been documenting them. Yes. There, there are certain people that uh, speak with people that claim to be abducted. And there are thousands and thousands and thousands of, of abductions. And uh, they they have research on what they have done to them. And a lot of them, a lot of the people that have been abducted have the same blood type. They're like 45, 49 percent of the people. So oh. that for that to be claimed to be and the eyes. and eye colors, a lot of them, most of them have green eyes. Oh, so maybe they're specifically looking so, for green eyes yes. type whatever. So, I mean, it's just, is that enough evidence to say there is aliens? No, but that's definitely something that's like, oh, that's a little little odd. That's yeah. a little weird. So keep it, keep keep at it. Go ahead. I won't stop. I you. think he knows. I think he knows the truth. <clears throat> I'm not authorized to divulge. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to guess, Troy, if, if you had to guess, because he's talking science, because, I mean, 
Neil deGrasse Tyson is a public figure of science. Sure. But if if you, if you think you were having drinks with him and just saying like let's really off let's, the record off where, the record where like people because it would be major news if he came on this radio show and <laughs> right. said he knew about aliens. <laughs> yeah. But Huge. off the record, if I'm you were not just authorized talking, to comment on it. <laughs> I think you were just talking to Neil deGrasse Tyson. He, he's got the inside scoop. He knows what's going on. <laughs> he, does, <laughs> he does. He's he's he, he plays it down for the radio because right. you have to. You know where he's going to reveal it? By the way, uh, he's promoting Star Talk Mondays, <laughs> eleven o'clock on that Geo. Yes. Yeah, I will have a public announcement only on <laughs> then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have information that I will only reveal. We, think, we only have a couple of minutes left with, uh, oh my God. with Neil because he, Travis said we have a couple. Are there any calls? Yeah, start or talking. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's it's continuing. It Monday is Monday night. Yeah, and, and there's a book associated with it. Whoa. Start talk the book. Very cool. I, we should have sent you one. I would love it's one. It's really fun. Every page you open it up, it's some question, burning question you probably had about the universe that we had discussed Troy's on the got show. Questions. And yeah, because you you you're a good question guy. Thank you. I mean, un, it, incessant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can literally just take a. I want to take a Winnebago trip with you. That's my goal. I was just sitting in the back but talking. Do I want to take that same trip with you. You That's certainly don't. <laughs> um, we we also have. Uh, I, I have a question from Doctor Steve. Our, 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 okay. Should we do that real quick? Up to you. Um, what do you want to do? Or phones? Be with the phones are lit. Yeah, phones are lit. But you can go to Doctor Steve. Uh, what did New Horizons tell us about Pluto that we didn't know already? That Pluto was a much more interesting world than the low resolution images had ever given us on a level where I think we have to admit that it had active geology going on, hmm. which would make it a much more interesting kind of object than just a passive rock out there, frozen rock that whose surface features are just whatever happened to hit it, you know, craters and other things. So, so th there's, there's quite a few years of research um, and discovery awaiting just the data that was sent back by the New Horizons. By the way, just a few weeks ago, it was announced what its next target will be out in the Kuiper Belt, and I forgot its phone number, but there is, there's a targeted next object for the New Horizons mission, which was always part of the biggest, the, the master plan for it, but it wasn't confirmed until recently. So, so the craft is still alive, and it's still, it's still being our, our, our scientific eyes in the outer solar system. How far away is Voyager? Viger. Viger, yeah. <laughs> so a Voyager 1 uh, basically crossed, it crossed over. It crossed the out. Interstellar it crossed, space, yeah, right? it's, it's now the sun's influence on it is no different from the collective influence of other stars in the galaxy. So wow. by that measure, we can count it as having um, joined the ranks of interstellar spacecraft, which is an, for our um, uh, engineers is a category of one. All right, right. But any, anybody else who's done it, they're all out there in a jamboree for sure. Do we get communication back from it at all or no? I, I, I haven't verified this, but I think we've shut off the communication channels. I thought they figured out a way to save the little bit of energy. There was a teeny bit of remaining energy, and they had this. Well, th the judgment is it costs money to keep any spacecraft going. And once you crossed out of the solar system, you can ask, what, is there interesting data that it's still going to give us? Once it's made that transition, and the answer is not really. So you use the money and you apply it to another spacecraft that's asking different que different questions. Yeah. All right, we'll go. We have time for like one phone call. Oh, okay. we have. Uh, you have to put your headphones. Oh, sure, on. I can do that. Um, yeah. So I guess we we'll go to uh, we we'll go to uh, Chip in New York. Hey, am I on the radio? Yeah. Hi, Doctor Tyson. This is Chipper. Hey, Chipper. You know, when I was a little kid, my mother always said. Chipper, you should be an astronaut because when you go to school, you take up space. <laughs> Where's the rim shot for that one? Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's, got, he's, he's gone. He just he's gone. <laughs> <just wanted>, <laughs> <laughs> okay. He just wanted to. That was a wasted we'll call. Yeah, we'll to, all right, let's go to one more call because that was that added nothing to our conversation whatsoever. Um, We'll go to Joe in Milwaukee. Hello, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Hopefully he'll he'll be better than Chip. What's, <laughs> what's up, Joe? What's that? What's that? I, I, got, I, got, I don't believe that time travel will ever be invented because of the simple fact that somebody from the future, when it will be invented, would have already came back to either this time or an earlier time and proven it. Maybe they already have, and they're named Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton. What? Or, or anyone who was so far ahead of any place we were at the time mm -hmm. that we all, as a culture, as a civilization, as academic subjects, had to catch up to what it is they brought to us. So these people that are known as being ahead of their time, 
maybe actually were ahead of their time? I, I would include artists in that as well. People who th they put something on the table and no one understands it. Steve Jobs. No one can relate to them. You look at Picasso. You uh -huh. look at Van Gogh. So, and, and I'm being very loose there in, the, in that supposition. But uh, otherwise, sir, you make a very compelling argument that um, <laughs> you see the protesters. What do we want? A time machine. When do we want it? Well, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but maybe the rules, maybe there are certain reasons you can't come back and do that. Rules. Uh, it's not a not, movie, not, No, no, Jim. rules. It's, it's, whatever. <laughs> or maybe there's a reason you can't do that because then, then the future is. So maybe there's a it reason It would set off happen. a chain reaction. But yeah, possibly. <laughs> sure. Marty, be careful. <laughs> no, so, so, uh, so it's a very good point. I think a stronger argument against it is mm. the risk of of um of paradoxes where if you accidentally prevented your parents from meeting then you were never born so, uh, so go back in time to have prevented your parents from meeting you by know the what? way by the way this whole thing with the terminator we go back and kill the person who's the mother of yeah. this all you have to do is delay by a few minutes when they had sex right because the inception yes it would be, okay, a different... be a different sperm and a right. different person so a lot of this was explained oh. in the scientific film the butterfly effect starring ashton kutcher oh, okay. little changes yeah, yeah. Like, if you, and if you, like if you don't want the actual sex to happen you go into the past and you put my face on the guy <laughs> <laughs> well we got to uh we got to let you go we have to write you a radio andy yeah they tell us we have to wrap up at 10. yeah um, yeah i got it i got it people places to go people yes will see. mondays at 11 p.m on nat geo you can see Star Talk uh, with Neil deGrasse Tyson. You've had a ton of uh, amazing guests uh, like Whoopi Goldberg, Buzz Aldrin, Jay Leno, William Shatner. Uh, so check that out Mondays at 11 p.m. on Nat Geo. Also, you're going on tour later this month. Wow. Oh, gotta... well, there, I'm, 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 there's always these standing invitations for me to give public talks. Uh -huh. And so later this month, I'll be in Texas. Yeah. Yes, yes. Give January 17th, 18th, 19th. But I Texas think they're all and... sold out, so I don't, that's why oh. I don't really talk about them. Yeah. Well, isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's isn't gotta be that fun. nice? I literally promote my gigs until 10 minutes before I walk on. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, if you want to see Neil deGrasse Tyson and you don't have tickets to see him, you better tune into Nat Geo right. and uh, watch Mondays him on at Monday nights. PM. Yeah. Maybe, maybe there's some tickets. I don't know. But just I, generally, I, I, I don't tell the world when I'm someplace local. It, right. I, I, it's, I, my Twitter stream would be overrun. So. Yeah, and plus, let's be honest, you really don't have a problem selling tickets. So, well, yeah. no, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm enchanted by the appetite that the public has shown for science. Yeah. And, and yes, I have this following, but that's not the best measure of it. Just look at hit, hit movies and TV shows where science is a fundamental element of the storytelling. That's right. Um, that's, I, I didn't make them do that. And, and the fact that I'm in three... Uh, first run films, uh, yeah. you know, uh, 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 box office films in t minor roles, but I didn't. I don't have agents trying to put me in these movies. They call me up and say, "Could you be in?" You know, uh, what I was in uh, Ice Age Five. Yes, there were four others that preceded that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was a, a character in Ice Age, a brief yeah. appearing character. They came to me, so that means they're thinking about science and they want some scientific authenticity in the artist's palette. So I think these, this is a phase shift, the tide shift in the reaction that the public has to what role science they know want and need to play in their lives. Excellent. And in closing, I always say it when you're here, but uh, I really do think that we will, uh, the, the whole speed of light being the fastest you can go, I don't buy it. It's a mistake. Well, uh, all right, we'll go to break. <laughs> That's your hypothesis. <laughs> <It> certainly is. <laughs> Sam, did we also want to, because the last time you were here, we discussed a little bit about, everybody's favorite subject is aliens. We all want to know. Nobody doesn't love the aliens. No yeah. one doesn't love them. Now, Troy uh, is a bit of a conspiracy guy when it comes to aliens. You I remember talking to, to Troy last time? Yes, I do. Yes, yes. I, I, I've, I've since talked about it. And you, Do you want to put Troy there so he can at least, the Dr. Tyson have to turn around? Uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or you want to stay there? Yeah, just so he can. I just have, I have stuff written down. That's the only oh, thing I have okay. To, okay. Because if you remember last time. Wait, wait. So if it's written down, that means you're not really carrying this knowledge or well, well, here's what, here's what happened. You. I just want to have it at my fingertips so we can discuss it. That's last, why. last time I was amused because you, as a, as a renowned physicist, were having a debate with a guy who just rolled in here, having watched a bunch of episodes of Ancient Aliens. Yeah, and you I, guys were... I'm cool with... I, I, people, people, you know, it's a free country and a free... You should think and f say what you want. Right. I mean, that's, that's why we know we live in a free country. Right. So, and I'm intrigued when people feel passionately about these topics, then I wonder maybe they're missing some bit of critical thinking that I could then assist. Troy, what do That's you all. think? 
Yeah, but you know, you're. Is a he fan. on a mic? You got a mic? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, you're, you're a facts guy, so I made sure I had a lot of facts for you <laughs> laid out, just so you know there wasn't any question of that. This is just made up and just hearsay. Well, just just to be clear, um, I rarely talk about facts in that context because what matters more than facts are ideas that may be derived from them, and you could there could be a, a measurement that's made. And it's a fact that that measurement was made, but the measurement itself could be flawed. It is a fact that you are telling me you were abducted. That doesn't make what you're saying true. That is true. Right. Okay? So that's why it was a fact. I need facts, facts, facts. And I don't, it's not really about facts. Well, it is a fact that you can it's go about 99. accuracy of information. It's a fact you can go 99.9% <laughs> the speed of light. <laughs> but, uh, uh one tenth yeah, of a percent. Way to bring it Troy, back. Troy, Team Troy. Okay, Troy, what do you got? <laughs> Troy. No, there was just a lot of information available about uh, po- uh, past presidents that have talked about it. Things, uh, organizations that have been set up by uh, leaders of the country. Yeah, yeah, give sure. them one. You can, you well, wait, so what's your, what's your yeah. question? Yeah, what, or what's your question yeah, or point, theory yeah. that you want to present? Well, the, the question is, there's been a lot of uh, structures found on the moon and on Mars that uh, good. would be, you know, I guess linked to ancient, some sort of ancient civilization. I mean, the structures you? you can't explain. Right. That's Sedonia? different from saying we're linking them to ancient civilizations. You, you need to distinguish, oh, here's, here's a structure. I don't know how it got there, if it is a structure at all. That's the, really the end of the conversation. After that, Sorry, bro. you can make stuff up. You could say, it's probably ancient aliens that are on the moon that can breathe the vacuum of space or whatever. Go ahead, and that can make a really cool movie. But <laughs> just because there's something you can't explain doesn't mean aliens did it. Could be That's dragons. all I'm saying. Could be dragons. What's the Mars one? Did That's you all I'm Sidonia? saying. That's all I'm saying. And so, so when people say, I saw a UFO, it must have been aliens. Well, what does the U stand for? I've said there's a YouTube video, multiple YouTube videos, videos of me saying this. The U stands for unidentified. Right. So you're looking at a light in the sky, and you don't know what it is. UFO. Period. And be, the act of you admitting you don't know what it is precludes you from then saying it therefore must be aliens visit, intelligent aliens visiting and observing us from another planet. Can I ask you this, though? This is, you I, stop at the period. Do you not think... If they land... And you can drag one into town square. We're good. We're good to go. Show don't, me a body. Go for it. I'll, that'd be good. Don't you think that, like, the one question I have about UFOs is when airline pilots, those guys know a lot about the aerodynamics and fly, and when they see things... That they don't understand. Right. When they see things... Well, they, 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 no, no, no. To be clear. When they see that craft... they cannot explain. Yes. When they see craft moving in a way that, like, when they see something... They, that say, is, ob- they see lights. Well, sometimes they've seen them closer, though, and they've seen... Lights. They've seen... Um... No, well, well, then it's I just eyewitness testimony. They, yeah. they, I mean... But when two pilots see something move a certain way, that's the mm-hmm. only thing that makes me question, because those guys understand, hey, this is a military test craft that you then and I might mistake. it's something they don't understand. Right. Period. And you don't work in theories. Well, no, I you can. In... No, no, it would be a hypothesis, just hypothesis. to be clear. So, okay. Hypothesis is an idea that's not yet tested, and yes. doesn't. we don't know if it works yet, so let's keep trying. Right. So... If you, if so, if they don't know what it is, they don't know what it is. Now, if you want to hypothesize that it's intelligent aliens visiting us in some, uh, fine. Get me more data mm-hmm. to support that hypothesis. Do you well, have one, Troy? Because you need a lot data, of research. Please, well, I mean, I have a lot of quotes and a lot of information from different astronauts, people involved in the military. They give, stuff they give I the didn't understand. The first CIA director ever mm-hmm. had, had mentioned that there's aliens. Uh, Ronald Reagan has gone on had well, speeches. Well, 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 stop. Well, okay, just, I'm trying Are to get you as using much as, as evidence that they're aliens that someone of high rank says so? Is well, there, are you using, Stone Cold are you said using so. statements made by people as evidence for the existence of intelligent aliens from outer space that visited Earth? Because we've known forever that eyewitness testimony, however high it is in the court of law, is the lowest form of evidence in the court of science. And Uh-oh. everybody today has a video camera. Everybody. We have video footage of buses tumbling in tornadoes. At a time, where, go back in time, if you saw a bus tumbling, are you going to say, let me run home and get my, 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 right. my recording device and come back and film this? No, you're getting your ass out of there because you don't want to die. Everybody has a video camera. We have video footage of the rarest stuff there ever was because everybody is everywhere equipped to do so. Where is the footage of people getting abducted. Where is the footage of encounters with aliens? Where and, and then once we have that footage, if you're that close to them, 
hit him over the head and drag him into the, if they have a head, drag him into the square. Then you're good. I, then, then there's no, you don't have to try to fight anybody to Unless get them invisible. to believe what you saw. You have evidence that would work in the court of science. And right now, nothing you were telling me would survive that scrutiny. The weight I was 190 that. pounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, in high school. So what, what did they? What did they? Guess? That was 50 pounds ago, wow. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> what did they guess for you for a job? Uh, so they guessed um, b uh, barrister. Barrister. Three of them guessed. Three of them. I wouldn't. I oh wouldn't my have... gosh! And it's like I am out of it. I'm completely out of yeah, it. There's no way. The one. The one I'm not that... saying it's right or wrong. It's, it's that they agreed. Right. And, and so my point is, so there are times and places where. I, I I try to hang out, but it's clear that I'm I have a different a life experience that does not intersect theirs. The Venn diagram right. has minimal overlap. Your answers did seem overly thought. Yeah, about. I thought I think I thought a little too much about like it. Like yeah. one one that I I don't remember all of them, but I remember the one that I was like I was like whoa he that that is way you they, yeah. the question was if Abraham Lincoln went into a theater, what would he sneak in his hat? Yeah. And it was like, I think, you know, the first thing popped into my mind and Jim's mind was a bullet. You know, that's, <laughs> we both, we both bullet. thought that. You guys are sick. A bullet. But yeah, but you, you, you guys are sick. That. I okay. think if I were on Match Game, I would just say popcorn. Popcorn or candy. And that's what the most common answer yeah. was. Is that what you said, popcorn? No, 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 no. I candy. said books. <laughs> yeah, you were like books. And I was Who like, because he's a learned guy. <laughs> yeah, but he's self, going to a theater. If yeah. the movie gets boring, he could pull out a book and read. It wasn't a movie. It was a play. There's no movies back then. Oh, Dr. Tyson. And this is where the situation is <laughs> not fair. I don't give you buckets of popcorn in plays. <laughs> yeah, no, but you don't bring a book in your life. head. This is where Just the situation is not fair to Neil. He's done all this stuff and is obviously one of the most intelligent people. And he's teaching. And the room looks at him like, books? What are you, an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's well documented that I'm not an idiot. This, this guy, no, Dave, look at everything he knew. He knew he was basically self-taught. Right. So I just thought he'd sneak some books in. And I was like, popcorn or a bullet. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where, that's where, yeah, so, that's where so America's thinking. calling me out. And, uh, so anyhow, I'm, so here's my point. Some yeah. part of my day, I value learning what pop culture is and how it plugs into everybody. Because I'm, as a teacher, as a communicator, I, I imagine it matters to me how your brain is wired because I'm going to talk to you. I want to go. I want to reach the receptors that are available in your brain, which might be different from your brain. Right. This is now, otherwise I'm just lecturing. Right. Right. And you got to come to me, and if you don't get it, that's your problem. Right. But if I want to claim to communicate, I want to know how. I want to know what TV shows you're watching because I might be able to reference that in some way that can enhance yeah, the I, learning. I saw in your uh, yeah, I saw the Hot Wings show that you did where you had to eat the Hot Wings. This guy, nothing gets by this guy. No, no, no. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, First we feast. Yes. yes. And, uh, how, how, far into, how far into it did you get? Oh, he was a champion, dude. He did all of them. Don't mess with me. Did I the last this. one really get you? you oh, like, the, the last one, which no one knows. Stayed. I will I will report to you yeah. before anyone else knows this, okay? I got through all ten. Mm -hmm. The tenth one is I cannot explain how hot it is. It's the hottest thing I've ever experienced in my life. And and your, your mouth is numb. All right? You can barely speak. Four hours later... I had explosive diarrhea <laughs> and I was crawling on the on the on the ground in my living room. Was it just from all that? All I that? don't know what else, but it, it, it all just blew through me. And an hour later, I was fine. So you didn't and I vomit. Ten you were, pounds less. You just got rid of. I a lot. felt like throwing up, That's but it had already gotten down in the intestines, so you yeah. can't throw up what's not in your stomach. Because I didn't. Wasn't that much food? It's ten wings. Yeah. Ten like wing sections. What right? kind of drink? What kind of beverage? Uh, I was just drinking icy water, yeah, icy but I could have drink. Um, they had milk. And milk probably better for that, right? Probably now? better, but it was cool though because you could see your face like you were keeping cool. Yeah. But then at the end, as you were trying to talk, it was like you kept you you didn't you no sold it the whole time. You did not <laughs> let on that yeah, it was bothering I, you. My but nose you couldn't get the words out anymore. Plus, you, plus your nose starts dripping mucus. Like it just totally messes with your whole uh, your whole. Um, uh, the, the, you know, the, the system in your head that tastes sure. and smells, which is all related. Yeah. And so, yeah. So it's first we face. It's just a YouTube thing, but, right? But the reason I brought it up was because you were talking about pop culture, and you had a you had a, a, a pretty good and impressive knowledge of, of hip-hop. They were bringing up, like, lyrics well, and well, stuff that you little bit. Knew. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, my nephew is a hip-hop person, and uh, Stephen Tyson Jr., uh, his hip-hop panel is ear to ear. and But anyhow, so he he composes. He's also an academic. He's getting advanced degrees in the role of music in shaping the future of culture. And 
So if a hip hop thing comes up, he's like, oh my gosh, who is this? I don't know what it is. I just get on a horn and call him. Yeah. And then, so the, I got my cheat sheets basically because <laughs> I, I can't be everywhere and know everything. Yeah. But it gives, it makes me, it, it, it empowers me to be at least conversational so that I can sit at the same table and toss in observations every now and then, but I can't lead those conversations. Right. Now. now, Sam, do we also want to, because the last time you were here, we discussed a little bit about, everybody's favorite subject is aliens. We all want to know. Nobody doesn't love the aliens. No yeah. one doesn't love them. Now, Troy uh, is a bit of a conspiracy guy when it comes to aliens. You I have talking to Troy last time? Yes, here. I do. Yes, he yes. I, I, I've, I've since talked about it. And you, Tro- Do you want to put Troy there so he can at least, the Doc Tyson have to turn around? Uh, yeah, 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 want to there? yeah, just so he can. I just have, I have have stuff written down. That's the only oh, thing I had. okay. Okay. Because if you remember last time, wait, wait. So if it's written down, that means you're not really carrying this knowledge or well, here's what, here's what within you. I just want to have it at my fingertips so we can discuss it. That's last, why. last time I was amused because you, as a, as a renowned physicist, were having a debate with a guy who just rolled in here, having watched a bunch of episodes of Ancient Aliens. And yeah, you I, guys were. I'm cool with. I, I, people, I, people, you know, it's a free country and a free. You should think and th- say what you want. Right. I mean, that's that's why we know we live in a free country. Right. So, and I'm intrigued when people feel passionately about these topics, and then I wonder maybe they're missing some bit of critical thinking that I could then assist. Troy, what do That's you all. think? Yeah, but you know, you're Is a he fa- on a mic? You got a mic? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, hey, you're, you're a facts guy, so I made sure I had a lot of facts for you <laughs> laid out just so, you know, there wasn't any question of that this is just made up and just hearsay. Wait, wait just, just to be clear, um, I rarely talk about facts in that context because what matters more than facts are ideas that may be derived from them. And you could there could be a, a measurement that's made, and it's a fact that that measurement was made, but the measurement itself could be flawed. It is a fact that you are telling me you were abducted. That doesn't make what you're saying true. That is true. Right. Okay? So that's why it was a fact. I need facts, facts, facts. And I don't. it's not really about... Facts. Well, it is a fact that you can it's go about 99 accuracy po- of information. It's a fact you can go ninety nine point nine percent the speed of light, <laughs> but uh, uh one tenth yeah, of a percent. Way to bring it Troy, back, Team Troy. Okay, Troy, what do you got? Troy. <laughs> no, there was just a lot of information available about uh, po- uh, past presidents that have talked about it. Things, uh, organizations that have been set up by. Uh, leaders of the country. Yeah, yeah, give sure. them one. Give, give wait, wait, so what's your, what's your yeah. question? Yeah, yeah what, or what's your question yeah, like, or point, theory yeah. that you want to present? Well, the, the question is, there's been a lot of uh, structures found on the moon and on Mars that uh, good. would be, you know, I guess linked to ancient, some sort of ancient civilization. I mean, the structures you? you can't explain. Right. That's Sedonia? different from saying we're linking them to ancient civilizations. You, you need to distinguish, oh, here's here's a structure. I don't know how it got there, if it is a structure at all. That's the, really the end of the conversation. After that, Sorry, you can make stuff up. You could say, it's probably ancient aliens that are on the moon that can breathe the vacuum of space or whatever. Go ahead, and that can make a really cool movie. But <laughs> just because there's something you can't explain doesn't mean aliens did it. Could That's be dragons. all I'm saying. Could be dragons. What's the Mars one? Did That's all I'm Sidonia? saying. That's all I'm saying. And so so th- when people say, I saw a UFO, it must have been aliens. Well, what does the U stand for? I've said there's a YouTube video, multiple YouTube videos, videos of me saying this. The U stands for unidentified. Right. So you're looking at a light in the sky, and you don't know what it is. The UFO. Period. And be- the act of you admitting you don't know what it is precludes you from then saying it therefore must be Alien vis- intelligent aliens visiting and observing us from another planet. Can I ask you this, though? This is, you I, stop at the period. Do you not think... If they land, and you can drag one into town square, we're good. We're good to go. Show me a body. Go for it. I'm, that'd be good. Don't you think, though, like, the one question I have about UFOs is when airline pilots... Those guys know a lot about the aerodynamics and flying, and when they see things... That they don't understand... Right when they see things, when they, 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 no, no, no. Be clear. when they see that craft, they cannot explain. Yes, when they see craft moving in a way that, like when they see something, they that say is, ob- they see lights. Well, sometimes they've seen them closer though, and they've seen lights. they've seen. Um, no, well, well, then it's I just eyewitness testimony. They, yeah. they, I mean, but when two pilots see something move a certain way, that's mm-hmm. the only thing that makes me question because those guys understand. Hey, this is a military test craft that you and I might mistake. Something they don't understand. Right. Period. And you don't work in theories. Well, no, I can. In... No, no, it would be a hypothesis. Just hypothesis. To be clear. So, okay. Hypothesis is an idea that's not yet tested and yes. doesn't. We don't know if it works yet. So let's keep trying. Right. So, if you, if so, if they don't know what it is, they don't know what it is. Now, if you want to hypothesize that it's 
intelligent aliens visiting us in some... Uh, fine, get me more data mm -hmm. to support that hypothesis. Do you well, have one, Troy? Because you need a lot data, of data, please, well, Troy. I mean, I have a lot of quotes and a lot of information from different astronauts, people involved in the military. The, the first, first stuff I didn't understand. The first CIA director ever mm -hmm. had, had mentioned that there's aliens. Uh, Ronald Reagan has gone on... Had well, speeches. Well, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> well, I mean, just, I'm trying Are to get you as using much as evidence that they're aliens that... Someone of high rank says so. Is well, that are you using? Stone Cold are you using so. statements made by people as evidence for the existence of intelligent aliens from outer space that visited Earth? Because we've known forever that eyewitness testimony, however high it is in the court of law, is the lowest form of evidence in the court of science. And uh -oh. everybody today has a video camera. Everybody. We have video footage of buses tumbling in tornadoes at a time. Where, go back in time. If you saw a bus tumbling, are you going to say, let me run home and get my, 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 right. my recording device and come back and film this? No, you're getting your ass out of there because you don't want to die. Everybody has a video camera. We have video footage of the rarest stuff there ever was because everybody is everywhere equipped to do so. Where is the footage? of people getting abducted. Where is the footage of encounters with aliens? Where and, and then once we have that footage, if you're that close to them, hit them over the head and drag them into the if they have a head, drag them into the square. Then you're good. Well, I, then, then there's no you don't have to try to fight anybody to get them invisible. to believe what you saw. You have evidence that would work in the court of science. And right now, nothing you are telling me would survive that scrutiny. Troy, do you and think it doesn't any matter evidence? how high up the person is. We're all humans. Let me tell you this. A scientist walking into a meeting says, yeah, here's a result. And, and, and uh, the, the moon is doing this and the sun is doing this. Okay, well, where's your data? I saw it happen. We just kick him out of the room. This, it's a pointless conversation for stuff lesser than aliens. I'm just saying, I'm not treating you differently how we would treat each other in scientific conferences, no matter what they're talking You're about. You're saying that he's not going with scientific evidence, and you would hold another scientist to the same level of scrutiny. For, for, for less. If I'd hold it for the same level of scrutiny. If they're talking about something that no one even gives a shit about, I would say, well, where's the, where's your, do you have evidence that's not just simply you telling me you saw this happen in your lab? And the video evidence is getting harder and harder because the video can be doctor tried. I mean, yeah, no, no, there, there's video out there. If, if you go, uh, I'm sure you know who Dr. S Dr. Stephen Greer is. Uh, he has information on his website and videos. And, and why whatnot. do you think, why do what you are think they videos knows? of? What are they videos of? Uh, of, of unidentified flying objects. Yes, of course we have videos of those. People see them. We have videos of that. Do you have videos of my, my issue is not whether people see UFOs. Well, that's yeah. not my. That's not the issue here. That's not the issue. Of course, people see stuff they don't understand. I don't have a problem with that. It's with you. If you then say, "I don't know what I'm looking at," therefore I know what I'm looking at, and it's the "therefore I know what I'm looking at" part that I'm questioning because you don't provide the evidence that would satisfy a, even a mild skeptic. Of a of something of a claim that is being made, Who's and if I astronaut? repeat Carl Sagan's famous quote, if you're going to make an extraordinary claim, I'm going to need extraordinary evidence, and that will not be evidence that's coming out of your mouth, no matter your rank, in in the government or in the military. Uh, who's the astronaut? I, Edward I, something, his name was? I, I, I only remember. pulled a few. Uh, astronaut Dr. Brian O'Leary says that we have contact with alien cultures. Uh, there was the... What's his evidence for that? Six guy. What's his evidence for that? I, I, there, he has, he's, on, he's documented talking about it. I, I don't know. He's, <laughs> he's in space. <laughs> no, no. We should just stop this conversation you, here. If your best evidence is people talking about stuff... Do you believe... There's no conversation here. Do you believe that there is a government cover-up of aliens <laughs> in the United States? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can laugh, but... I, I, you no, laugh no, no, like I'm no, an idiot, but I mean, this no, is like a legitimate question. Yes. I'll tell you why I'm laughing. Anybody who's worked in the government, <laughs> the, the government has nowhere near the competence that you're assuming it would have if, in fact, that's what you want them to do. The government is one of the least competent things there is. Look at how much we knew about President Clinton's genitalia. If there were a state a secret, it would have been that. Okay? So, all I'm saying is, I, first, I'm not convinced that the government is effective enough as an organization to hold that a secret, even if it were true. Okay? So now, let's assume it is true. 
and they're somehow covering it up. They're doing a pretty good job at it because there's no leaked footage of aliens doing anything, and we have leaked stuff of of lesser things that are going on out there in the government. But, so wait, wait. So so. Um, uh, do you remember the movie Armageddon? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I don't want to miss there's a thing. There's an there's a Texas-sized asteroid ready to take out the Earth, which, by the way, we would have discovered with backyard telescopes 200 years ago. But in the movie, <laughs> they're saying the government kept that a secret. There's certain things the government can't keep a secret, like the sky. That's not a secret. We all have access to the sky. And if aliens are coming from someplace else, they're coming from the sky. Unless they're specifically landing in government installations at night. All right? Mm. And then no one else gets to see that happen. So, I, so, the, so if you have that much confidence in our government, oh, my gosh. Because nothing else is that functional. What about Edgar Ed, Edgar Mitchell? Edgar that, Mitchell. That, another astronaut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've met him. I've interviewed him for my radio show. Six Man to Star Walk. Star Talk Radio Show airing on yes. Sirius <laughs> XM. <laughs> so like, did, did he said he believes that there's alien life. He believed in Roswell evidence was covered up, correct? Yeah, and th there's actually people that have worked at uh, at Roswell and Area 51 that have come out and said that this is we are we have aliens. We have them in our we have bodies. We have living aliens. Where's their uh, video footage? I mean, if it's involved with the government, how would it come out? And you, know, you can't you sneak you it out. And you can't say that you don't know that people have accidentally disappeared or ended up dead, been involved with this. As soon as, like, there is a crash or there's some information, they've been, uh, the information's been confiscated very quick and told, don't ever talk about this again. I mean, you can't say that you don't know about that. Okay, so let me tell you about conspiracy. You know what conspiracy is? Conspiracy theory. Yeah. Theories. Theorists. As a broad thing. Okay? So conspiracy theorist is a person who is certain they know the answer to some thing. And th you start collecting data in support of this answer they are sure is true. Then you reach a point where there is no data. But they're sure that what they think is true is true. And we're at the point where they cannot actually produce the data, they then invoke conspiracy. To bridge the gap between the data they need to have and the data they have. Okay, and in that gap, you assert conspiracy to continue to believe what it is you want to believe. That is the anatomy of a conspiracy theorist. And all I'm saying to you is, what we have learned, hard learned, is that what people say is not data. It's a kind of data, okay? If you want to get how many people think they've been abducted, that's, then that's data. But if you want to establish the truth you need different methods and tools than simply interviewing people of high, of high rank. And we've learned this over the centuries of trying to find out what is true. Science is a is the entire purpose of the methods and tools of science is to establish what is objectively true and what is not. Not only that, it is to it is to not fool yourself into thinking something is true that is. Uh, thinking something true that is not, or thinking something that is not true that is. This is hard work. And so, and I'm, all I'm saying is, I am so unconvinced by all the people that presented to me that I'm not going to spend any time looking for aliens. But all these people are convinced. I'm not stopping them. All right? I didn't come in here saying stop looking for aliens. I didn't come in here saying that. Keep finding them. If you dr find one, snatch one, bra drag it into the town square, and we're good to go. And then you all are vindicated. I'm not going to stop you. Before we have to let no, you sorry. go. Yeah, we, no, we, we I want to ask okay. one thing real quick. Uh, you have to wrap go it up. Yeah, yeah, you have to oh, do another got, got, interview and stuff. Yeah. But what do you think of, uh, I don't know if you saw the video. It kind of went everywhere on the internet. But you're upset that I don't agree with you. And I'm saying I just need better evidence. No, I think you know what's going on. You're just okay. not saying. <laughs> I'm not authorized to comment any further. I know. <laughs> you did you crack that joke last time. What do you yeah. think of, uh, of uh, mm -hmm. the Bill Nye video that's gone around that I don't know if you saw. Which video? His show that I know show uploaded to Netflix. Yeah. It's the It's an old show they edited out uh, a portion about gender where he's explaining in the 90s x chromosome y chromosome this is how gender is created they took that out and a lot of people are saying it's it's a it's a sort of liberal political thing because our definition of gender societally has changed they edited uh, I, 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 so what you're saying on youtube is his old show and so so and the old show was Netflix. on ABC or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. They put it, it up on Disney. Netflix. It was Disney. Okay. Was, right. Yeah. And they put it up on Netflix with the segment about Re removed. how gender is created uh, is removed. removed. Well, is it because we have better data and now it's more accurate? I mean, I, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. It, it, uh, yeah. Uh, 
the, the, the sexual You're saying it's political correctness that caused them to... Explanation and the theory wait, 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 behind if, it if is... It's, it is if it's more accurate... Then who cares if it's edited? I don't understand. Well, it's a, it, is it, it wrong? It, is what is is what is now there wrong? No, I mean. So then, what's why is anyone complaining? I don't understand. What do you, no, no, no. They totally took it out, <laughs> and so people are saying that the reason that that discussion is not even being had is because of political correctness. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I just haven't seen the video, so I don't. I, I, I don't know. But of course, stuff gets edited when you move it from different times. I mean, there's stuff. There's conversations you can have in one era that you cannot have in another era. Uh -huh. Like, just look at the song um, uh, "Baby, It's Cold Outside." That's a big hit. Yeah, and people love that song. And it was today. It's basically date rape. Okay, <laughs> so yeah. we have emergent understandings of the human dynamic that changes what you will accept and what you won't accept. There's another song. Was it from the '70s? Um, um, baby, I, I wrote wrote me a letter. You remember that song? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, is that the one? Um, baby, she wrote me a letter. Was that my baby wrote I don't me know. a letter? Uh, no, not that one. It's the other one uh, where the guy Iron Man. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> the guy, is, the, the, the the man is dictating to his secretary that he found his wife with another woman, and it's a uh, take a letter, Maria. Oh, take a okay. letter, Maria. Okay, so he's dictating a letter to his lawyer. Okay, saying I'm going to divorce you, my wife, because I found it with another man. And this whole song is this letter, and they said, "Oh, Maria, hey, what are you doing tonight?" <laughs> so, and it's like, "Oh, that's kind of cool in the day." And now it's like, "No, this is like workplace sexual harassment." So I'm just saying, if it, conversations change, a conversation change because we learn more about what matters and certain issues that were suppressed because other issues might have been more significant in the day are given a chance. To rise up, we have to wrap with you. We don't we want to. They're, yes. they're yelling oh, yeah. at us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We don't want to wrap. Okay. We can talk to you all okay. day. Uh, the book is called Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. And uh, you can also see uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson as tour dates coming up uh, Monday, the Holland Performing Arts Center in Omaha, Nebraska, Chicago Theater in Chicago on Tuesday, Wednesday. He's going to be in Midland in Kansas City, and Thursday, Peabody Opera House. In St. Louis, we could talk to you all day, but they're yeah, yelling right. at you. Have another yeah, day. okay, and, and get me some, get an alien, bring it in here, and we'll, said we, that we have that conversation <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah. I said nobody doesn't love the aliens. I got this. We're good. We'll right. be right. We'll be back in a few minutes, and okay. we have uh, Sinbad coming. And thank you, you're always Sinbad. Yeah, yeah. We love him. oh my gosh. Yeah, oh, I gotta hug him. I never met him. I want to hug him. Yeah, he should be in a little while. Okay, excellent. Good yeah. Okay, you. thanks. So here's the thing with space. Yeah. We want to colonize other planets or moons mm -hmm. in case something happens to the Earth someday. Our own moon will be affected by anything that fucking hurts the Earth. That's right. I firmly believe that. Again, it's super close. A rogue asteroid or whatever, maybe not. What did you just spill on yourself? Nothing. Just... Oh, brushing your chest. I was hoping you spilled hot coffee. No. no. Not a nuclear war. He was picking... That's true. Yeah, you're right. But the moon is too close and it's was... not big enough. And or habitable. Colonize other planets or moons mm -hmm. in case something happens to the Earth someday. Our own moon will be affected by anything that fucking hurts the Earth. That's right. I firmly believe that. Again, it's super close. A rogue asteroid or whatever, maybe not. What did you just spill on yourself? Nothing. Just... Oh, brushing your chest. I was hoping you spilled hot coffee. No. no. Not a nuclear war. He was picking... That's true. Yeah, you're right. But the moon is too close and he it's was... not big enough. And Or habitable. It's shit. Well, none of them are technically he habitable. He was picking breadcrumbs out of his chest hair. He eats yeah. his breakfast topless. <laughs> does <laughs> Travis. He does. He, gets a, he likes to eat his French toast yeah. without his shirt on, and sometimes he gets syrup in his chest hair. Yes, he does. Oh. Yeah. And when he wipes his hiney, there's so much beaded up toilet paper. That's right. It, it literally looks like a, a girl on the beach in Aruba. Is that because of all the hair? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And those little, those little white balls he get caught. By the right. end of the day, he, he literally looks like he has braided hair. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I think it, I do, part of me loves this idea that, like, you watch the news, and people are going fucking batshit crazy, losing their minds, because we're throwing kids in prison. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, building, we're building cages to put kids yeah. in. And in response to that, Trump's like, don't worry about that. Down here on Earth, yes, we're putting some kids in cages. But we're also building the Space Force. Building the Space Force. So don't worry. Don't Maybe worry. he'll recruit those kids for the Space Force. Do you think that's what they're there for? It's a way into the country. That's right. Good news, everybody. We're letting these kids out of cages. But they have to join the Space Force. Whoever wants to be out of your cages, go to Space Force school. If not, we're keeping you in cages. Yeah. Mike Pence in charge of Space Force. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. He's going to put the first Bible in space. 
You think that's where he saw his political career going? He's going to be in charge of Space Force. <laughs> he wants to be the president. He doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to run Space Force. <laughs> <laughs> he does not want to run Space Force. I wonder if Pence reups. I guess he will. Yeah, for this next term, sure he will. I think it would look so bad for the party if he didn't. Well, unless he retired from politics. How old is Pence? Not old enough to retire. Yeah, he's not that old. He went to school with Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Oh, yes. that's right. Yeah. They were friends. Right? No, he yeah. just looks old. He's a lot younger than Trump. Is he? 59. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. He's yeah. 59? Wow. Okay. It's like shit. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I don't think. And I feel bad for all the military people, too. Why? The like, guys who are career military men that are now going to be uh, sending people to the moon? Space Force people. What branch of military are you? Navy? No, 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 no. What are you, uh, Army? No. Nope. nope. Not Army. Uh, the other one. Air Force? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Close. Getting closer. Uh -huh. I mean, that. You're not Coast Guard, are you? Yeah, no, I'm not. Not Coast Guard. Well, which, what's the... Uh, space, space Force. Space Force. <laughs> space Force. That's how they would say. Space Force. I'm in the... I don't know why you think that's so crazy. I'm in the Space Force. Because the first time we're going to the moon in 46 years, there's a reason we haven't gone to the moon. Because there's alien bases there. Oh. Um, we could just go up there and look at them without going. Yeah, what are we going to do? Go there and the, take them over? They're, yeah. They're we, a potential threat. We've Because they're on the moon. Well, they're they're observing what we're doing here. From the moon. Yes, I know. You don't think so, Jim? No, Michael Collins saw the dark side of the moon. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's aliens on the moon either. No. You don't know. You've never been there. We get, no, That's uh, true. But I guess, and, and I, from your trip to the moon, you remember all the alien bases. No, I've just heard astronauts talk about it. We can see the moon. You can't see what's on the dark side of the moon. You can't see. Oh. There, there, are, there are things and, on, and, on, on. And we haven't developed technology. They could take an unmanned trip to the moon and show us exactly what's there. And there are people that have worked for NASA that have admitted that they have airbrushed out photos of things that are... But guess what? There's people that worked for Sirius that think the company's going out of business. Stock's never been higher. That's a little different. It's true. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah, a little bit. It's easy to hide what would be going on on the dark side of the moon. They don't have to make that known to us. It's easy to hide what goes on in Sirius. I mean, do you have any fucking clue what this company's doing? Be honest. I know it's thriving. I do. It is. Exactly. Exactly. It is thriving. But if you ask people who used to work here, it's not. That is true. A lot of them don't think it's doing well. Right. So, I, I wouldn't necessarily trust that judgment. Just like, you know, one guy is like, you know, I used to work at NASA. And there's little green men living on the moon. No, it's, it's like, not, okay, that's a guy. It's still just a guy saying it's it. It's not one person. There's, there's been multiple astronauts that have said that there are and what Buzz Aldrin has said that there are th th structures that are unnatural on different planets Who on different that? moons Buzz Aldrin I'd like to hear that quote yeah and see what context it was in because Richard C. Hoagland really believed in the face on Mars he did and it's not a face <laughs> you don't think so no I don't you don't think Mars is actually an organism itself no, 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 they mean it was an alien face that was oh, built I see. as a structure. Look I at, see. Look at the uh, face on Mars. Take a picture of the face on Mars. It's not a face. Let's go to uh, John in New Jersey while we're looking for this. What's up, John? You guys, you got to say it right. It's not Space Force. It's Space Force. <laughs> yeah. Space Force. Space Force. Space Force. <laughs> you don't think, Troy? I'm a member of the Space Force. That announcing as if it's a giant deal, we're making Space Force. And saying we're going to send somebody to the moon is comes across as outdated. I think it's interesting. What Travis said, it sounds like something you say when you're a kid and you're going to be president. You want to be president. what I would do. He should have called it something else. Yeah, Space Force is a, an insane name. It's a childlike name. And to be like, guess what, everybody? We're sending a guy on the moon. Yeah. We had that technology 50 years ago. Like, what What else are we doing? It's the absolute opposite of <laughs> a it monolith. Was built. A monolith. A monolith is a, sh a structure or shape. Not, a monolith doesn't have to be man-made. Yeah, he specifically said that God or the universe put it there. Well, he's just saying that because he's probably paid off as well to keep his mouth shut. He said, the, keep... he said the opposite of what you said. Hey, but he also says that it's a good idea to go to the moon, try to have no. it at the moon. The moon of Mars. Where, Here's or, why Buzz Aldrin says Europa it's a good idea to thing. go to the moon. Because he went to the moon. <laughs> That'd be like me saying it's a good idea. Radio should be the number one thing on everybody's mind. Because I'm the guy on the radio. No, no, he's not saying go to the moon, though. He's not the, saying go to our first moon. Did, first time he did. Yes, it was talking about going to the moon. Of course Buzz Aldrin happened. thinks let, we let should all be in space. Let me see the beginning. He's, he's a saying, maniac for space. He's saying go to places we haven't been before. Let's see. We could visit other 
people with their habitation. We can keep track. If there's something very important to be developed from the moon, I'm not sure what it is right now. And I sure think we should identify what it is for America to make such gross expenditures again for human habitation on again. the moon. We can help. On the moon. We can join. No, no, he's saying for together. us to make such gross we expenditures, we should identify why. We should have a reason to do it. But it's also not shocking that Buzz Aldrin wants us to go to the yeah, moon. Yeah, I, I don't but, think he does. I think he wants us to go to the, the, the moon around fucking uh, Jupiter's moon. I think it's called Europa. That's what they're saying. Is, is, I, think, is, I think the government should invest billions of dollars in satellite radio. But that's, I'm acting in self-interest when I say that. But don't, you, but don't you think if Buzz Aldrin was like, you know what, we're at the moon, there's fucking nothing there. There's no reason to go back. Why would he say that? He wants to build importance into what he did. He's you don't want to, no, you don't want to say like, you know that, that shithole rock that did nothing? Yeah. I was there. He wants people <laughs> to be like, oh my God, you went to the moon. Like if he comes back and it's like, yeah, there's really nothing there, then it's not that big of a deal that he went. Yeah. He, he wants might, to be a fucking hero. He doesn't want guys like Ali G calling him Buzz Lightyear and making light of the whole thing, you when, know? When you when you move to Staten Island, you want people to go, oh, my God, Paul Castellano used to live there. Right. You don't want them going, wow, there's a dump there. <laughs> exactly. You, you want to look for the cooler parts. Exactly. That's how you That's how you uh, talk about it, right, Travis? Yeah. I come from the where yep. Paul Castellano used to live. Say, it's me and Wu-Tang. I mean, yeah. I'm from Shaolin. Yeah. Let me go real quick. We will go to break in a moment. I but... hate your Epcot Center shirt. <laughs> Why, it's awesome. It's, it's like a throwback to the 80s. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Let's go to... <laughs> you are wrong. Let's go to Craig in uh, Virginia. What's, What's up, Craig? Oh, God. Hey, what? good morning. What's up, Craig? Hey, man. Hey, just wondering, you know, as a leader, you know, as stupid as he may be, he is putting a target out there. Was Kennedy just as dumb saying we're going to the moon? Here's why... No. Here's why, no. Number one, Kennedy didn't call it Space Force. And number two... When Kennedy said, we're going to put a man on the moon, it was like, what the fuck? Are you crazy? Yeah. When Trump says, we're going to put a man on the moon, we go, yeah, we were there already. It's nothing there. 50 years ago. <laughs> yeah. It's old news, man. Air Force. Your, uh, your phone's cutting out, man. You know, I'll tell you this. Luckily. The, the Space Force needs to get AT&T and all those signals up in space, maybe get some reception a little better. Absolutely. That would be cool. Yeah, and, and Trump saying we're going to the moon would have been the equivalent of Kennedy said, someday we're going to beam sounds and images across <laughs> the world. And they'd be like, we're already doing that. We're doing it, Kennedy. You idiots. We're doing it already. Jack, we do that. Yeah. I'll we're going to call heard. it Television Force. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to beam my image to the Soviet Union. <laughs> We've done that already. We did it. It's not. It's, yeah, it's, it's. it's it's over. Oh, man. Well, I, I, I just like, I wish this was around earlier because I love the idea of like, you know, after 9-11, people being like, I got to do something about this. I'm going to join the military. Oh, what branch? Space Force. <laughs> after 9-11, I couldn't take it anymore, so I joined the Space Force. Every child. <laughs> it's childish, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I started. I I was. I spent a lot of time playing with my spaceships in the bathtub, and I realized that what I should be doing is joining Space Force. It's just childish. It's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yes, you guys laugh. You'll see. When we fight the aliens, how come we haven't done it in fifty years? We haven't had the technology. Oh, the aliens aren't coming here. We're going to them to fight them. That's fucked. Like, they've tried. They've tried to put nuclear weapons on the moon before, and they. Some some yeah, but don't you think gets fucked up? Don't you think they want to put nuclear weapons on the moon so they can fire them at Earth? Possibly, or whatever the reason is, or could be, maybe they want to blow up the moon. I mean, you guys act get like to I'm that crazy. cheesy center. Not crazy, no. But you you know, you know that they're, cheese in the middle, Rob. <laughs> you know that they're they're conditioning us. It, it, That's it right. Just two years ago. Three years ago, they wouldn't even say Area 51 was real. Now they're like, oh, yeah, that's real. Everybody knew Area 51 was real. Of course they did. Plus, there's too many drones now that people can fly over. They can't deny it. Yeah. People have their own personal drones. They can fly into that airspace and see it. Right. Area 51 is uh, epicenter for the Space Force. And that's not even where stuff is. That's just different, you know, technologies and stuff. Well, like now, that. It's, it's on the Air Force bases and stuff. like you know, you well, know. Now they've moved all of the alien research underground. All right. Is it under Area 51? <laughs> Jim's like, I've had enough of this. <laughs> Is it no, under? I want to go to the bathroom. Is it under Area 51? No, there's Area 52, 53, and 54. We, they're just at different it, locations in the United States. Underground. Underground. Space Force is above. They're gonna, we're just going to be the sandwich in between this alien activity. They take the technology for Space Force, and they're building it underground. So this technology starts underground, 
and ends up overground. Well, that way it's... That's fucking crazy, huh? Can't find it on radar. Space Force can. You guys will see. <laughs> mark, mark this day, please. Okay. Travis, will you mark this down for when the alien war happens? Yep, writing it down as Troy sure showed us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not to be like, yeah, because America's going to dominate space. It's literally the same thing you said 50 years ago. America doesn't need to dominate space. It's not It's not possible. We are a nation of domination, though. No, we should be literally be going, and actually a planetary force is how we should be going out in space, not as Americans. But literally, that's why the space station works. Works because we actually collaborate with the Russians there. Without, there's no real politics. I mean, or if there are, they don't hurt what we're doing. Travis just thinks you should send sexual chocolate and D'Lo Brown up there no, and see, see if you can do it. That's how we get shit done. Space send D'Lo Brown. The space is too big. A country can't dominate space. It's huge. It's enormous. shouldn't. It goes on forever. It's crazy. Why is Air Force not dumb? Be because we mean, why is Air Force? Why is why is that name not dumb? I don't know why it's not. You know, it's not dumb because I guess because of when it was conceptualized it was a different time and it wasn't as cornball as space force yeah, yeah sky when, force would be more cornball than air force sky, sky force would be better. sky force yes no, yeah, absolutely bad. sky force because yeah, it's in cloud way. force yeah We're yeah done with cloud force right plus it yeah. was introduced with technologies they're like oh this is pretty amazing yeah. what's going on yeah i'm, I'm a cloud zoomer Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason, Air Force doesn't. Space anything sounds terrible now because space has been so used in movies. Of course. And science fiction. Yeah. Space Force. So, Troy. There nope. you go. Bad news, bud. What's that? No aliens. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, it's, uh, are alone. I, here's what I'm going to guess. I have not seen this. Tell me. They're going to, I'm guessing that they're saying that the odds, the things that need to line up, for life to happen like the amount of things that have to happen in a row and perfectly for us to have come into existence is too rare or numerically too crazy for it to have happened to us they basically just said the probability is that there is no life and there has never been any proof that there is so that they're saying so they're saying that if there was there would have been proof by now they're such fucking idiots why what do you, because we're, we're in our infancy as far as being we've been technologically doing stuff since what the 1950s 60s like like in exploring space we had telescopes before then yeah, exactly telescopes how far do you see with telescopes you can see into space with a telescope you can see into space but you can't see onto individual planets no you can't you can't see individual it planets says, in fucking andromeda with our nearest neighbor these scientists are dopes okay this is from oxford university exactly i've been there i dropped out uh Too stupid uh, they came to the conclusion that humans are alone in the universe while examining the so-called Fermi Paradox, which ponders why scientists believe in extraterrestrials despite having zero proof. Quote, we find a substantial probability of there being no intelligent life in our observable universe and thus that there should be little surprise when we fail to detect any signs of it. There's likely no intelligent life outside of Earth, so there's no need to waste time theorizing about humanity's relationship with aliens, notes the paper dubbed Dissolving the Fermi Paradox. The paradox, named after the, physic the physicist Enrico Fermi, questions how there could be a high probability of extraterrestrial life when there's no solid proof. There should be little surprise when we fail to detect any signs of aliens, it notes. Well, you know, there's probably a lot of other things we couldn't detect at first. Like what? Like, Cancer? Um, no, but I mean on other planets. Like black holes were theorized before they were detected. Um, wormholes are theorized. I don't know if they've been detected yet. But, you know, Stephen Hawking kind of saw these things. And I think common sense dictates that just with so many fucking stars that could possibly have planets around them, the odds are just what, silly that we are the only ones. It also says, uh, scientifically, we have yet to have an individual bring a body into the town square. Oh, right. That is correct. So. Comment, Troy? That asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. So there, look, I love him. <laughs> I love him. I think he's him. great. He's great. I don't. Troy takes umbrage with him because he didn't understand why he didn't think a stoner that watches Ancient Aliens is his intellectual equal. Well, you know what it is? He's, <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he's just an astrophysicist. He just, he's a science-based fellow. He's a guy who demands a certain amount. There's a certain level of proof he requires, and that's how he lives his life as a scientist. What do you think, what do you think of this? Oxford University, though, is now saying, odds are, no aliens.
I mean, there's so much evidence out there that something exists. What, what, like what? Well, we've gone over it dozens of times. I mean, there's there's video that the government. Are you talking about out. that video of the guy who had the guy in an alien costume just jump up and down no. inside of his that window? That was real. I'm sorry, that's not what I'm talking. You're about. You're right. That was real. He fucking filmed it. I know. I know. Yeah, there's just a lot of things that are unexplainable. You know, and are they aliens or not? Who knows? You know, but there's just things that would point to there's something else going on that we don't understand. I think the Oxford lawyers are, I mean, the scientists Thank are you. fucking idiots. Can you give me an example of a body being found in a town square? Um, no, I can think of one that I'd love to be found in a town square, but no, I've, I've, I cannot cool. give an example. Troy, but again, can you? that doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. Neil deGrasse Tyson it said so. Doesn't, because we are so, again, technologically, we're so new. Um, that's why Contact is such a brilliant movie. That Jodie Foster McConaughey movie is so brilliant. We're so new on a, on a, a, a fucking uh, a universal scale or a galaxy scale, however you want to, the scale of time. Galactic. Yeah, it's galactic. I don't want to use that word. But it's cool. It is. But we haven't been here long enough. We're just starting to, we, you know, they said the Hitler's speech was the first one that went out net, like all over the world. That's like, not the best it? thing to start with. Well, yeah, I mean, you don't always want to start with a lighthearted. Yeah. It's getting off on a bad foot. Hindsight being twenty twenty, that wasn't the right way to go. No. But you know what I mean? Like, we're infants when it comes to how long we've been here. And to think that there couldn't be another species out there that's been there, it's just silly. But they're saying probably not. We, we, don't, we're, we don't have the ability to find the proof. We, what, we, maybe we're not advanced enough, you dopes. To find the proof. We it. would have found it by now. Shut the fuck up. I love that you're calling them dopes as if this stuff didn't occur to them. Um, apparently it didn't. <laughs> or it occurred to them, and they're dopes because they avoided it to write a paper that they knew would get a little bit of ink. That's, That's more what likely. this is about. These guys want you to go, what? This is Shut our, up. Look at our findings. We have findings. It was worth putting all that money into it. I don't like that they say we would have found it by now. Yeah, we would have found it. First of all, Einstein's theory of relativity. Yeah, equals a very good, brilliant. It's not the be all end all. It's pretty good. Some guy on a blackboard didn't figure it out. We, Only a few years in, into technological advancement. I'm sorry, it just didn't happen. We got iPhones now, though. You'd think we would have been able to talk to aliens on them. What about other dimensions? We'll find stuff. Exactly. We just we that just happening? we just won't live to see it. We just don't understand going into other dimensions. Things have happened. You know, I like, know. I understand it. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Wow. I'm sure that Doctor Doobie would understand going into different dimensions. Chip. But I mean, those do exist. We just don't understand them. Yeah. We don't. We, you, you can. I mean, like the Bermuda, theoretically they exist, or they definitely exist. They definitely exist. I mean, the Bermuda Triangle. There has been some crazy shit that's happened in that area. Yeah, but that could just be. Weather patterns. Yeah, shit. And magnet, ma Earth's magnetic pole or something. Well, yeah. there are, I mean, there are people, and again, it doesn't, it doesn't say that this is it, but there are people that have disappeared and then reappeared at later times in different areas, and they can't explain. It doesn't, time doesn't, they don't understand. It just feels like they just like blink their eyes and they're there. That's unexplainable. So, you know, there are things <laughs> that we just don't understand yeah. that exist. Well, yeah, no, I, I think, I don't, I think that. You could have things that we don't understand. I don't think anybody's saying that everything is explainable, I suppose. But then the the, the government released video of things flying through air that they they don't know what it is. Well, those guys didn't know what it was. The government, I mean, if, if don't you think if somebody's monitoring our air, they should probably know what that is. And if they don't know what that is. That's why we need a Space Force. That's right. That's why the Space Force. Have you, have you thought about applying for it? I thought about it. <laughs> I don't think it'd be a bad idea. No. Yeah. I'd be pretty badass. Yeah. I think you get a lot of chicks. You think so? You could hang your tits out the fucking window to get some get them nice and cold from yeah. space. He got his tits done. He, they don't hang anymore. No, no, I hang him out the. Oh, push, eight, push for, him out the fucking for space the suit. next for the next round of. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, let let space, which is very cold. That's right. Tits. Eat away at your tits for a few seconds. That's right. Are there you any tits holes in this space spaceship? No, oh, they could work on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could ask. Suck all the air out. Right. Make your little titties get all fucking icy. Chicks would go crazy if they found out you're on the Space Force. Fuck yeah. Because girls like uniforms, girls like space, yep. girls like important people. Yep. And you'd be all those things if you were on Space Force. That's right. I think it's a good idea. We would have found proof already. Yeah, I don't know what this, this article doesn't actually say. We don't anything. even know much about quantum fit. What are they talking about? I think it's just a headline. The article That's really, all it is. It's a, it's a bullshit article. It says nothing. It's just scientists saying, like, yeah, there's no aliens. Knocking for me. Like, tomorrow, other scientists could come out and be like, hey, there's probably aliens. 
Oh, that's a headline. Like, it's the same yeah. shit. Yeah. It's the same shit. I don't know if there is, but yeah, there's no solid proof yet. Right. Yeah, to have no solid proof just means that. All that that means is we don't know. No, we haven't proven it yet. Right. But there's no solid proof that there isn't. Right? Right. right? I just think numerically, the amount of possibilities, it's silly to think that we just happen to be it. It's very egotistical, isn't it? It's, it's asshole-ish. Yeah. Although I do think we lived on Mars, like the humans lived on Mars and then came to Earth, and we're going to end up going back to the place that we already came from and be like, oh, fuck. That was dumb. That's not true. That's what I think. We didn't live on Mars. I th well, not you and I. I mean, we, the collective species. I saw a picture of Mars, and it looked like a dried-up Earth. And I was like, yeah, we probably lived on Mars. I've seen that dumb face on Mars. Well, I'm not talking about the face on Mars, but I know what you're talking about. Stinks. The face stinks? <laughs> stinks. It's not a fucking sphinx head, you idiots. I don't know. Could be. Um, Matt in Missouri? Hey, uh, like Jim was just saying, that uh, is mathematically... I mean, you take a drinking straw and you aim it up anywhere in the sky. Right. Look through that little hole. Right. They say there are thousands of galaxies within that little spot you see, and each galaxy contains billions of stars. So it's it's mathematically impossible that I mean, if we were an accident thrown on Earth, there's life. It's so, gotta it's gotta be somewhere else. So this says that. There's, they don't think there's any life in our observable universe, which definitely gives them some wiggle room Yeah, to be like, oh, well, we didn't observe that. There might be some over there. So that really, our observable universe is really just the galaxy, right? Like, it's really just the Milky Way. I mean, not even. We can't even. We see the Milky Way. But we don't even know what's we going on. We can't see fucking planets rotating. <laughs> I mean, yeah, once in a while you'll catch a blip somewhere and another. There's a lot of shit we can't see. Like, how far is our observable universe, would you say? Well, I mean, it's pretty big. I mean, it's it's we can go all the way back into other galaxies. The observable universe, they're probably seeing almost to the beginning of time. That's my guess. When they say observable universe, they are probably saying through the Hubble, seeing back. I forget how close to the beginning of time we can see, but it's actually closer than you think think that is fucking crazy what you just said you can see the beginning of time through a telescope you can uh, but not we can't but i mean we, we are closer to it i think they said what's blocking us meaning if you look into space you'll see time deep enough they're trying to see the big bang uh deep enough because they're saying that i guess the evidence of the light would still be there the light would still be there oh because it hasn't traveled well, it's traveled we just can't see it right um and they said that i think there's a some sort of a a cluster. Dr. Steve would be very no would know about this. Do you want to try to get Dr. Steve on the phone? Well, if we can't get Dr. Steve, we should probably get Michio Kaku. He's, no, he's Dr. Steve's probably busy on Howard's channel. He probably is. See if you can get Howard's I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give favorite him. scientist on. Okay, yeah. Cool. Is Dr. Steve a scientist? He was a physics major, too. He's a oh. really brilliant guy. Um, let's see if Howard will let him come on. Yeah, I, uh, I got to go. Robin needs me to. He, does. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like Michio Kaku, Dr. Steve. Yeah, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> he doesn't like him. But I forget how close we are to seeing the beginning. Again, we may never. But that's what I think the Hubble was built for, was to try to see. But there is some sort of a, a I don't want to say a gas cluster, but there's something that we can't Blocking see it. through. Yeah. Let's go to Chuck in Boston. What's up, Chuck? Hey. Hey. Last, uh, when you guys first started talking about the Space Force. Space whatever, Force. Jim, you didn't understand why we would need to go to the moon, and I think it's because we need to build a base to where we can launch from the moon to Mars and also to have storage. And also, Trump wants to build a detention center for when the real illegal aliens show up. Look, I'll, I'll ignore the second half, but the first part might be, <laughs> you might be right about that. It might, it might be, although I don't know if you need to launch from the moon. Right. I mean, like any problems you have launching from Earth... Uh, it's just fuel. Right. The only thing that you lose launching from Earth is the fact that you have to push the rocket up. But, I mean, it takes a few minutes to I get think into space. If we were to invest the money in 2018, if, if, if we had the technology to go to the moon 40 years ago, in 2018 we have the technology to launch from Earth to go to Mars if we wanted to. I think we can because the way, the way it works is you aim towards something – 
And a lot of times, like when they when they are shooting things into like you know things that are going to deep space, they're being kind of boomeranged around other planets or or, or a slingshot around planets. So it'll go, it'll, it'll hook up by Jupiter, it'll get caught in Jupiter's on the outside of Jupiter's gravity, and then fucking fling off the other side and pick up speed. That's that. Well, that's how it, they move. But what would it sound like? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> uh, you can hear him every morning on the Howard Stern Show. Dr. Steve. Hey, how are you? What's up, Dr. Steve? <laughs> Good morning, boys. Hi, now, we're talking about the observable universe. And we couldn't find Michio Kaku, so we decided yes. to call you. Uh, yeah, now, I, no, I get it. I get it. Now, <laughs> now uh, Oxford released that study where they say that they don't think there's any life because it hasn't been found yet. How big is the observable universe? Okay. So, um, the, the universe is 13.5 billion years old so if we're at the center of a sphere that is 13 billion light years in diameter i mean in uh, radius then uh the observable universe would be right around you know 27 billion light years and so wow. the universe may be infinite but there are parts of it that are inaccessible to us because we would have to travel faster than the speed of light to get there so let me ask you, too. Um, can, can I ask you, yeah. while you're saying this, the, the, talking about seeing the Big Bang or the theory of seeing the beginning of time, how close sure. the, the Hubble can't, what is it that the Hubble or, or telescopes can't see through, and how close are we? We, we got closer Bless than you. You would, people would have thought. Okay, so here's the thing. When the Big Bang happened, there was this period of inflation. It happened just, you know, uh, almost instantaneously, where the universe expanded faster than the speed of light. And, you see, space can move faster than the speed of light. It's just things can't move faster than light yeah, or massless particles in space. So right. the universe did this. And then all this energy uh, uh, flooded in because of, uh, you know, you've got to balance the negative energy of this expansion with some sort of positive energy. So that the net energy of the universe is probably zero, which is really interesting because you really do get something from nothing. Now, when this thing expanded, it was completely opaque because uh, it, in the beginning it was these crazy uh, fundamental particles, and then it, it sort of distilled down to where uh, it was uh, ionized particles, which have been very bright. And then as the universe continued to expand, these particles started to combine positive uh, protons combined with uh, negative electrons, and all of a sudden the universe became neutral and clear. So at that moment, all of that light that was shooting around – um, and now it has the ability to uh, to um, uh, propagate throughout the universe. Now, as the universe expands, the wavelength of that light keeps dropping. Okay, as it, it you know you've heard of redshift, and this is extreme redshift. Mm -hmm. Those photons that started out being ultraviolet or X rays are now in the microwave uh, wavelength because of the, the space has expanded so much that uh, those wavelengths have, have spread out. So we can see the Big Bang. It's just we can't see it with our eyes because the wavelength is below that of visible light. It's in the microwave, and you can detect that using microwave detection. So, so I got to I got to be honest. I was following Dr. Steve for about 15 seconds, and then I started just thinking about that little kid singing the Mortal Kombat song. Yeah, no, I, I know. I, I so have, that's I'm that's, sorry. No, that's not your fault. No, it's, I'm stupid. That's not your fault. So let me ask you a question, and this is where it gets weird. I know things. They say that it traveled faster than the speed of light. Because it, w it was it was the universe itself expanding, and it wasn't going through space. So, what was it expanding through that it could travel faster than the speed no, of light? Not, no, it's not expanding through anything, unless you look at sort of higher dimensional space. There are, you know, there's this idea that there are these multiple universes and they're inaccessible to us. And there's this one group of people that are doing this experiment. They think that if another universe actually bumped into our universe in this whatever quasi uh, sort of meta space, that we should be able to detect that. And they, they, they actually published a paper where they think maybe they saw something. It shows sort of a ring in the, in the sky in the deep, uh, in, um, in the, in the deep microwaves uh, that they claim may, may be a, a, um, a um, sign that another universe bumped into ours at some point during our development. So it's, you know, it's, space is space. It's not, it's not opening up into anything. That's the crazy thing about, about this 
is if you think of, um, uh, okay, you get a balloon and put a couple of dots on there and then blow up the balloon, you'll see those dots moving farther and farther away from each other. But they're not really expanding into anything. They're just part of that balloon as it expands. They are, but, I mean, there's an outside world around the balloon. So isn't there an outside thing that space is well, expanding into? Like that's a shitty analogy. But, you know, <laughs> no, 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 but I mean, the, but if space was expanding... Uh, we just don't know what it was yet, but I still think it was expanding into something. The fact that it can move faster you think than space is inside of something. It has to be. Right. No, space is space. Yeah, it's it, it. These things are so hard for our brains to wrap wrap themselves around that what a lot of the scientists will say, and it, and this relates to quantum physics as well because it's so counterintuitive. They say just shut up and calculate. You know the number the calculations work out. And trying to, uh, it's like, how do we, how does the brain work in the sense that we have consciousness? The conscious human brain can't, or it's very difficult for us to conceive how the conscious human brain works because it's, it's having to be recursive. You know, we're having to look at ourselves and, and our own programming, and it's very difficult for us to do it. We live inside this universe. It's very difficult for us as mammals that were designed to just run away from saber-toothed tigers mm. to, uh, you know, to, to conceive of higher dimensions and things like that. The only way we can really do it is by allegory. So, you know, is by what? Allegory. Allegory. Like thinking, like, if you ever read that book, Flat World, where they, they're these I edited that book. <laughs> but they're these two-dimensional creatures, and then the, a third-dimensional creature sort of uh, invades their space, and, and they show how... A two-dimensional creature would perceive a three-dimensional thing. You know, if it's just passing through the plane, like you pass your finger through there, it would start as a small dot and get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then as you passed all the way through, it would get smaller again. Wow, that's so and crazy. Maybe we would see a fourth-dimensional being that way in the third dimension. You know, they would just sort of appear in front of us. I don't know what you're talking about, but I do. I've I tweeted, sim- I've tweeted <laughs> similar things. But I'm just, number one. Anyway. Do you think that there's aliens? And number two, if yes, why has there not been a body brought to the town square? Fair enough. Okay. So this Drake equation thing, uh, Drake? all they did was really change the uh, the measurement of error. Hold on. Sam is making a stupid Drake joke. It's the cakes. Oh, no. <laughs> not the six god? Oh, heckles. <laughs> so, so the, the Drake Sorry, sorry, Dr. Steve. <laughs> it's totally fine. The Drake equation is this long equation that just sort of estimates how likely it is that life is uh, in the universe. And it, it's a whole lot of little numbers that you multiply together, and all of them are less than one. Uh, so that if you, know, you continue to multiply them, the number gets smaller and smaller. Yay. Right? But oh. if, you, if you're biased, or thinking there's life on Earth, you can tweak those, no- or not life on Earth, but life on other planets. You can tweak those numbers to make it look really optimistic. And what these guys did in this most recent research was to um, make more realistic adjustments of the error of those um, uh, uh, of those numbers. And what they came up with is that there's a 38% chance that we are alone in the observable universe. And that's a huge damn number. Now, that also means it's still more likely than not that we're that we're not alone. But some of the uh, solutions to the Drake equation be prior to this show that there should be hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of civilizations just in our own galaxy. And and these guys are saying that may not be uh, the case. What, what are they What are they saying that the, the things that have to line up for us for life to happen, the amount of things that had to happen in a row yep. chemically and, and with everything, is so astronomically low. The odds of that. Right. Yeah, there's so many things that just have to happen. Now, look, you, you can say there's no white crows, right? Because we've never seen one. But no, no what? One white white crow, crows. Okay. If you see, if you see one white I've crow, that's a few. That hates that. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of white pigs, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, All right, it's sorry. an old philosophical argument. Right. There's uh, no white so crows until trying, you see a white crow. Yep. Trying, trying to prove a negative. So if we find another alien civilization we can communicate with them then we'll learn a lot more if we go to titan for example and find life or if we go to mars and find life there you know it's going to be more likely good luck with mars is common you know 
Well, well, thank you, Dr. Steve, for clarifying yes. that and making it simple for all of us to understand. <laughs> ah, go fuck yourself, Sam. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> fucking wait, Drake. Um, <laughs> what's he uh, fucking rapping? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Wait, what? What's got you laughing today? <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> empty. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Steve. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot, man. Okay, man. Talk right, to you later. later. Yes, he, Dr. Steve knows physics very well. He's a, I think a physics major. I think he made most a, of that shit up. He, he, he did. He didn't know what he was talking about. He didn't. It's not Drake. It's not Jack K. Uh, <laughs> like Jack K? Yeah. I see. He's such a smart guy. I see.